It's so light. It really is really light. That's a good, that has a good little weight to it. I've had several gimbals over the years. In fact, my very first gimbal was the Ziyun Crane. It's like the first version of it. Back then, I wasn't super impressed with gimbals, partially because I didn't know how to use them properly. I didn't know how to balance them properly. It was kind of a guessing game for me. But in today's day and age, gimbals have made it a lot easier to operate and to use. And today, I am taking a look at the brand new Ziyun Cinepeer Weeble 3E gimbal. Ziyun did reach out and ask me to review this gimbal. Um, no money is traded hands. I did get the gimbal for free, but I will give you my honest opinion of this gimbal if it's something that you should go out and, uh, and buy for yourself. So let's get into it. First thing off the top is the packaging. So it's a foam package, um, pretty, pretty solid, pretty small. Like if you hold this up in comparison next to yourself, it's not super big as far as it, it being able to pack away easily. Uh, once you take the cover off, I can take the cover off. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. In the package is the gimbal. Uh, pretty small little guy. It's really small. It's meant for your like smaller cameras, so like your FX3s, FX30s, A7S3s, A7R4s, Canon R5s, Nikon Z6s. You get it. Your mirrorless cameras is where this gimbal will shine. It has a max payload. We'll get into that further down in, in the description, but it has a max payload of about six pounds, 6.6 pounds, something like that. I'll, again, I'll look at it here in a second. So taking it out of the box, uh, immediately you feel like this is a pretty solid gimbal for the price point, which again, I'll get to that here in a second also. But it, it's made really well. It's all made out of metal. There's, this is metal and plastic here. It's got a nice little screen on it. Again, these lock in place so you can lock them when you're traveling or when you throw it in a backpack or something, which is kind of nice. There's a lot of little features to this, but we'll just go over what's in the box first. So obviously, first off, you get the gimbal. Uh, you also get the stand for it. This is kind of a, a given now with a lot of these. This is a pretty well-made one. Um, doesn't feel very cheap. Feels, I mean, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Feels like a pretty good solid build. Um, nothing's moving around too much. Little. Uh, quarter 20 on there, which is nice. And that's that. Then you also get the plate. Uh, I have not checked, I will check if this is Manfrotto. I'll leave a little thing here saying if this is Manfrotto um, capable or not. Uh, but yeah, you get a nice little plate that you can mount on the bottom of your camera. And that is a Allen bottom or a flathead for that. So, and it also comes with the USB-A to USB-C cable as well as a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, I will be testing this out to make sure this works with the Sony cameras. But yeah, that's kind of cool. So we'll get into that further down. You also get yourself an Allen wrench. So the Allen wrench is obviously for that, uh, for this plate here to put that on, tighten that up. So we'll get into that. So yeah, that's it. That's out of this box. That's all there is in it. Um, so let's get into the actual gimbal itself. The gimbal itself is surprisingly pretty comfortable to hold, even though it's, you know, small. Um, but it's, ergon it's ergonomically designed pretty well, as far as the place of your hand versus the triggers, the dials, the buttons and everything. It, it has a good feel to it. And if I put it together, I'll put that in the center of it. And we'll just kinda put that there for now while I, kind of go through some of this video. One of the coolest features of this thing is called the native portrait switch. Uh, basically, you can flip the gimbal really easily from shooting in landscape mode to videos in portrait, which, I mean, honestly, it kind of hurts me, you know, to shoot videos in portrait mode because that's not the way that I intend to shoot content, but it's a necessity and people want it, people want you to shoot videos in portrait mode. And uh, shooting handheld portrait is kind of a nuisance, so I will show you how I set this up for portrait mode. My hatred for portrait shooting is not uh, a part of this review, it's just unfortunate that we have to make things for TikTok and Instagram and things like that. I get it, it's not my favorite thing, but I, I, I understand it. Another thing I really like is the Bluetooth shutter control. 
No more messing around with tangled wires. You can start and stop recording or snap photos if you want to with just a tap of a button on this guy. So it's a small thing, but it makes a big difference because you have to keep going up here and pressing your shutter button or record button um, if you didn't want to do that. The most important thing about a gimbal, honestly, is how well it stabilizes your footage. And the Weeble 3E does not disappoint. It's got these advanced algorithms that keep your shot smooth and steady, even when you're moving around a lot. So like this image of me running or this image of me you know, moving haphazardly around. I took it into a lot of different scenarios, into some shops and some you know, park walks, as well as into a couple of the orchards near, near my house, just to kind of see how it, how it held up. And it did a great job. For the amount of time I've spent with it, which is about maybe two and a half hours of total shoot time. I mean, not shooting time, but operating time. It's honestly done a great job for what it, for the price point and what it is. I think that a gimbal these days, you don't necessarily need the 900, 800, $600 gimbals, and we'll get into the price of this guy here in a second and the kind of deals that you can get on it. But for something like this, you know, if you just wanna go grab some footage somewhere of something and it's not a huge production and you just need to shoot it with a, you know, mirrorless camera, this is a great option. If you wanna use that budget for other things, you know, a nice tripod or, you know, a, a new lens or a new, filter system. You can do that with something like this versus buying a competitor's brand that's more expensive. Um, depending on the weight you need, obviously, if you need to have something that's, you know, 12, 13, 14, 16 pounds on your gimbal, that's a different story. But if you're just shooting content with a mirrorless camera with something like this, and again, we'll get into the weight size, weight side of this here in a second, you can't go wrong. And um, it does a great job. Which brings me into my next topic. How well does the Weeble 3E stack up against other gimbals on the market? Well, for starters, it's definitely one of the most compact and affordable gimbals that I've used, honestly. Stabilization is top notch. And I mean, I don't have it, but everything keeps telling me that the Sling Mode 2.0 is a game changer, but we'll have to test that out another time. The Bluetooth shutter control and the portrait mode, you can switch to portrait, obviously. There, they're not necessarily a game changer in this space, but they are very versatile for the price point. And what you're getting is pretty good. If you're, again, in this market, looking for something with for a, uh, for a mirrorless camera or a DSLR or something. So this thing says it can handle about six pounds. So let's see how that, how that works. Um, I have here my coffee scale. This guy will go up to about that. So I'm gonna put that there. This is our Zhiyun. Little guy here, we'll put that facing the back all the way because that lens is gonna be heavier. So we can really get that out the back, tighten that up nice and snug. I would really like to have two of these um, bolts on there. I mean, again, for your DSLRs, you're not necessarily gonna need that, but you know what I mean. It's just nice to have those. So we're gonna put that right on there, like so. So we're sitting at three pounds, 15 ounces with this camera setup right here, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna balance this right now. So three pounds is pretty nice. That's a pretty good area. That's with a battery, an SD card, cage, lens, 35 millimeter F1.4. So that'll obviously change if you put the 50 on or a 24-105 or something, 24-70. I also have the Polar Pro, just little, um, you know, little matte box guy, as well as a mist filter in there, just to give the demonstration and then a 65 or 67 millimeter filter thread adapter for this also. So three pounds, what was it again? It was three pounds, three pounds, 15 ounces. So uh, we're well in the weight limit of this gimbal. Uh, let's unlock it all and see how, to, how well it does. So we're gonna lock that one there, lock that one there. And so we have here, looks like we can adjust this this way, in and out. Um, and then as well as we can, we can mount this guy horizontal as well. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay. So now we've got that one in, we're gonna balance that forward backwards real fast. We'll see how quickly we can do this. All right, 
So that one is good there. We're gonna lock that off so that can't move now. Now we're going to do our side to side, our this axis here. So let's go out just a scotch further. Just like that. That looks great. Lock that one down. Okay, and then we'll unlock that one. Okay, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Now let's turn it on. Power button here on the side. Loading up. And there it is. A gimbal. A gimbal. Oh, look at that. A gimbal. All set up, ready to go. So we have our, our knob here that you can change, but right now it's set up to do rotation. And then you can double press the trigger button to go back to your home or zero level. And then you can also have a joystick over here that you can control to go anywhere you wanna go. Up, down, side to side. You get the point. You've, if you've operated a gimbal, you know that you can do all this stuff with it, which is pretty nice. And then you double tap, it goes back to home again. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The neat thing about this, honestly, put that out, turn this on, kind of see where we're at here. So our shutter speed is way down. Let's go to movie mode. You can see here that we are filming my camera setup. And this is, if I hold the trigger down, it locks it in place. And then if I don't, it's so light. It really is really light. That's a good, that has a good little weight to it. Supposedly you can get 16 hours of runtime on this guy, which is pretty amazing. And you can also charge it while you're operating with it too. So if you want to plug a USB-C into the side of it, you can do that, um, which makes it pretty nice. If I want to take and plug the camera into the gimbal, pretty simple. I'll go over here, take this cable. If you want to do it USB, or if you want to do you know, Bluetooth, you can, you totally can. I, I like cables. Um, the only reason I like cables is I know for sure that they are going to work because they're plugged in and they're operating. So we're going to have to change this to our PC remote. We can set this up to be whatever we want it to be. So I can adjust my shutter speed and everything. So it's automatically telling me like what I have here. So you can really customize what the different buttons do on the gimbal with the menu, with the, with the menu um, which makes it really nice when you want to adjust what the different, you know, if I want this to do something besides tilt up and down, I can set this to where it can do the yaw or the pitch um, or the rotation. So that's kind of nice as well as the, how fast and how slow everything moves, you can set it up that way. So if I want to track something, I can do that through the app also, which I didn't even talk about the app. There's an app for this thing that you can control, uh, kind of like the apps you've probably seen on the market where you can control the gimbal with the app, which is pretty nice. A lot of features for a very inexpensive gimbal. Now let's set this thing up for portrait mode. Okay, so here's where it gets a little interesting. We don't have a ton of room for that. Okay, let me take that out of there. So as you can see, our gimbal is not um, super balanced right now. So if I take this and I move it out anymore, or if I adjust this at all, it's not gonna be great. So we're gonna take, and we're gonna move this guy back a scotch. So we're kind of level this way. We're gonna make sure we're level that way first, okay? Which we are. So we're gonna lock that in place. And then we're going to lock that one, just like that. And now we're gonna unlock this one. And as you can see, we don't really have a lot more room to go here. And we are a little off. So let's see if that, if that gets affected by, by this. So it doesn't have an auto lock, so it doesn't have an auto unlock or lock feature on it, which is fine. So we'll undo that one, undo that one and we'll see how it operates with that much weight off to the side. So we're gonna power this guy back on. And 
and it's looking like it's gonna do the job. So, yeah, that works pretty well, actually. I mean, not that I was doubting it, but, so now you can get your, now you can get your, <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I get it, but I hate it. Uh, now you can get your vertical shots with your gimbal, pretty simple, pretty easily. That works really well. I'm excited to use that now. And it's really easy to switch it back and forth too. It takes a little bit of rebalancing, but once you rebalance it, it's actually pretty simple just to have it like that. And let's talk about that price real fast. With this deal that's it's coming out today, and if you click on the link below, I'm not trying to get you to buy off of my link or something, but they did send me a link to send this, to give you this deal. It's $199 for this gimbal, uh, which is, I mean, kind of a steal, really. If you look at the world of gimbals and how much gimbals cost, for what you can do with this, it's, it's pretty inexpensive, honestly. I would definitely recommend picking this up if you are in the market for a gimbal and you want something small, easy to throw around. You don't, I mean, sorry Ziyun if you see this, but you don't really care if you scratch it up or hurt it or damage it because it's pretty bulletproof. It's, it's inexpensive, but sometimes inexpensive gear can be some of the best gear because you don't necessarily care, sorry again, what happens to it. And not in a bad way, but I mean, that's what this is for is to get that shot. And sometimes you, to get that shot, you have to put it through its paces and really take it to the end, end of its life and see if it'll, you know, make it, honestly. So when you look at the price of the Weeble 3E, it's also a really good value. Sure, there are other gimbals out on the market that can do similar things, but they often cost a lot more. So if you're looking for a powerful, portable, and inexpensive gimbal that won't break your bank, the Zhiyun Cinepeer Weeble 3E is a great option. Setting it up is super easy, as you saw, and even beginners can get great results. There's also a bunch of cool features like different shooting modes and the ability to control your camera settings with the gimbal. If you're interested in getting your hands on the Weeble 3E, I'll leave a link in the description below. There's also a discount code that you can use at checkout, which makes it 199 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive, honestly. So with that said, there's not really too much more to go through on this gimbal. Um, besides, it's just a really nice gimbal that does a really good job for the price that it is. And I really do think that if you're in the market looking for something like this, not to reiterate myself, but it's a good option. Um, so I'll leave you with that. Hopefully you guys got something from this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and maybe subscribe if you haven't. Um, I appreciate it if you, if you do. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.